Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For most of these desert scenes that I have done, I've used this Art and Fly watercolor pad. Some cheap stuff I bought on Amazon. But for these sunset desert scenes, I'm using Strathmore 300 series. They also make a 400 series, which I think is a little better. It's not cotton paper, it's just cheap paper. Really cheap paper. Look at this deal I got. Regularly $12.99. I got it for $3.24. That's like practically giving it away at Hobby Lobby. I forgot to say, Art and Fly makes 100% cotton paper that I recently ordered some. So I'll be doing some videos with that paper also in the future. using a mop brush. This holds a ton of water in it. Anytime you're painting skies or sunsets or anything, you don't want to go in and overwork it. You just want to, once you get the paint in, you want to just drop it in and just let it do its thing. about paying sunsets you can do a thousand million of them and they all turn out different. Okay now that my background's dried I'll go in and start on the foreground and the middle ground. Some of these saguaro cactuses are known to get 60 feet tall and grow for many, many, many years. Try. My favorite part is taking off the masking tape. Show that nice, crisp, clean edge.
this series of desert landscapes and animals that I've done over the last month or so. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate all my subscribers. If you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and join me for more watercolor journeys. Thanks.